All right, everybody, in this video, we're going to be going over some thoracic spine rotational pails and rails. I'm just showing the height of this pole in relation to my body right now. So this is specific to golf. So I'm setting up as similar as I can to what the very end of my upswing will be like, and then I'm dipping my torso down to find my stretch in my spine. Now you're gonna feel this stretch in a couple different places. You're gonna feel it pretty heavy across the shoulder of that lead arm. And then you're going to find as much rotational stretch through your rib cage and thoracic spine as possible. So I showed you guys each side there. What we're gonna do here is try to make sure the spine is rotating very clean and even. So we're trying to not sway the back left or right. We're trying to keep it like we're trapped in a pipe. We're taking big deep breaths in, big deep breaths out through the nose, really trying to settle into this as much as possible. Now, as we get ready to engage here, we're gonna make sure that we flex the core and lock it still. We're gonna make sure nothing moves except the intent of deep in the spine. So what I'm doing is I'm attempting to very gently turn my chest to the left right now. So I'm fighting against the pole that's stopping me and I'm building up tension as I'm continuously trying to rotate more and more to my left. I'm flexing my legs, my core, my lower back, my upper back. I'm gripping the pole. I'm trying to keep everything super solid. And I'm just going to keep trying to find more and more engagement to more and deeper tissue. Uh, this is gonna end up being a pretty solid struggle very, at the end, and you're gonna hold a relative peak effort for maybe five to 10 seconds at the very end. Now, as we go to switch directions, you're gonna make sure your spine is super locked in that pipe. Everything is very clean, straight up and down. And as we attempt to rotate, we're gonna do everything we can to keep that lead arm locked out. We're gonna try to maintain the thought of swing mechanics as we're doing this. And you can see I am now actively rotating the other way, trying to keep that pipe off the ground. So now all the muscles on the opposite side of me are working extra hard. That regressive tissue is firing. And then we don't hold it for more than five, 10 seconds. You're gonna need to take a breath, get your mind right, reset. And now you can see I'm able to actually sit my hips farther back. My shoulder is able to dip farther down. I have a noticeable difference in range of motion. And from this point, I am trying to breathe deeper into my left shoulder blade and deeper into my lower back and trying to find as much opening as possible. So you will do that on both sides and you will make your shit work nice. Let me know what you think, guys.